What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In this video today, we are gonna be unstrapping our black car and doing a bit of maintenance. Wow, look at that. Are you guys, are you kidding me, dude? thus far you know i've been doing a lot of tkx testing with the transmission so we turned the car down a little bit made 600 650 wheel but one of the problems that we're having is the fact that the car going down the track is doing a lot of hula hoo hula hula whatever do a lot of swerving so i want to get underneath of the car and check the control arms and the bolts and such to be honest with you guys i've had these hotchkiss control arms on here for about five or six years it's time if we change these. Anyways, if you follow the videos, you'll see that I've gotten quite squirrely with the car and it's kind of making me a little bit nervous. So we're gonna go in here to the shop and we're gonna try to rectify that today and take a look underneath the car and see what we got going on. So stick around and let's get into it. One of the major problems that I had with the black car was it wasn't able to actually clear my fenders. I would have had to change my springs quite a bit. When I put my 315s on, it would just look too high if I put this, brought the spring pressure up or brought the spring height up. So one of the ways that I've actually alleviated that problem, and you probably see here around the hundred floor, I think I acquired these at a swap meet not too long ago. Uh, adjustable uppers. Uh, I think these are an, a J and M, J and M brand. Uh, it could be the Granatelli's, but I don't think I've ever seen them with the Heim joints in the front or the spherical end. But the nice thing is, is I'm able to take a half inch gun and I can set my height no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm racing on the 28 or racing on a or a street driving on my 315 in my street car, my black car. Then I can, uh, you know, change the height of it. Pretty neat, huh? Well, let's get these cars switched around and let's get the black car in here and do some. Now, as most of you guys have been following the channel, that we just went through the rear control arms in my white car and found a bunch of bent bolts. I wouldn't be surprised if we find some bolts in this one that's bent too. So how I alleviated that is I ordered from nutsandboltshere.com the, the metric 10.9 hardened uh, bolts to replace. So I got all three different sizes, 90, 100, 120, 110, whatever, the correct washers and, and lock nuts, they call them, to alleviate that. So we're gonna get them put on here today too. All right, so I'm, I'm kind of glad that we actually went through some of this already. I mean, we're already finding uh, like my links for my anti-sway bar. We're, we're kind of stuck, you know? So it was, it's kind of good that we're getting up in here and getting some maintenance on this anti-roll bar and uh, in the links themselves. But we're right now, we're gonna get into the shocks. This is the stuff that you gotta pay attention to when you're maintenancing your Mustang. Now I've been running nines with this car for years, been running tens, been running some good power through it for a long time, but you know, it's just, when something's not right, it's not right. And I raced the other day and it just didn't, I mean, it was fast. We went fast, shifted well. Just felt like I was fighting the car all the way down the track. And I know for a fact that when these bushings start going bad, just like on my white car, that's about all they had. And you can see these things, you know, <laughs> not exactly in the best shape. So we're gonna keep rolling on this and uh, kind of maybe put you on a little time lapse, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. I just wanted to talk to you guys and give you an idea of what we were doing here. It's gonna be, be able, I'm gonna be able to change the car stance too, so I can bring the uh, tire up a little bit because it was rubbing really close and I could also drop it. All right, so we're moving right along. Um, you know, some of the things that you gotta actually take off is, you know, the shock. Uh, we had to take our anti roll bar off first, zips tied a few things away, and you know, we, we you would take this jack and jack up one side and it pulls a spring out. Guys, you gotta be careful with springs, especially the front coilover springs, because there's a lot of tension on them and you could take your freaking head off. And uh, right now, me and cousin Paul are at the point, we got these uh, multi-adjustable, I've had these on here for years, but I'm not gonna take them off now. We're gonna start taking the control arms out. You know, we should have plenty of room to take the uppers out as well. All right, you guys, you guys wanna see what I'm actually kinda worried about? I know it's supposed to be a little bit of movement there, but not that much. <laughs> oh, dude, look, look. Holy crap, did that just come out? It just fell out. <laughs> yeah, dude, the, the center.
Just like I told you guys, me and Cousin Paul always got a keen eye for some stuff, some shit, and some fox bodies. Let me show you exactly what I just found. No, 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 no. Look right here, bro. Look. I, am. I see, see it. it. See it? I, didn't, I, I know we were eventually going to see that anyways because we're taking this out, but that's exactly why my car wants to hit a wall. Guys, I can't stress enough to you. If you're trying to erase your fox body and street drive your fox body, you're, you're, you're trying to get your fox body to do two things that it's not really supposed to do. You know, some people restore their Mustangs. Some people, you know, uh, you know, show quality Mustangs. Hats off to you guys. But to actually get your car to go fast, look good, show quality, it's a lot of maintenance. And stuff like that, gone, you know, not addressed, can get you hurt and can get somebody in trouble. I knew something was wrong when I was racing this car for so many years, I didn't have that problem. You know, these poor Hotchkisses have seen their days, bros. I mean, when you got stuff just falling out, pins falling out, and bushings that look like that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. And that's exactly why I'm making this video. So we're gonna continue, uh, you know, upgrading our control arms and uh, keep boring you. Yeah, I'd have to say that uh, we were walking around the truck. Uh, Got some, got some, got some problems up in here. Truck box reinforcement looks pretty good, and of course my mount here for my 8.8 on my diff looks pretty good. So we're moving right along. I know the other side is in very bad shape, and I'll show you that one too. But got the lowers in, got the brackets set back up. Um, everything's nice and tight and anti-seized. Uh, you know, we'll set our spring height once we get it in. Um, but this is definitely coming out a lot better than I thought it was. Uh, it's not taking too too long, but we got a lot of stuff we got to put back together sway bar ex exhaust and such but uh pretty sure this is one of the reasons why we were having problems wow look at that are you guys are you kidding me dude right through there i know you, that's where all he all of the grease oh and my goodness out. bros <laughs> i can see cousin thread because cousin fred through my through my control arm is he is he is he flicking me off <laughs> wait we can actually see hair on <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is no laughing matter here. This will get you very hurt. So I'm very, very happy with the fact that I found the actual conclusion of our situation. But these Hotchkisses have done the, man, I'm telling you what, guys, I went five years running tens and nines with this, and it worked. They, this is what happens when you don't change them. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and get our upper control arms in, which are actually adjustable for our pinion angle. They still have bushings on them that I'll have to keep an eye on, but these are all new and ready. Um, they were measured exact exact diameter as a regular one, just like the lowers were. So uh, definitely gonna get them in there and I'm gonna probably make a big difference for us. Uh, get some new bolts in there on some anti seize and maybe adjust my pinion angle sometime. One of the very cool things about the weight jockers, like I was telling you guys, is I can actually adjust my height. It excites me because I'll be able to maybe run a 28 with this car. <laughs> Stay tuned. Tried to put a 28 on, doesn't work. I forgot we have tailpipes, uh, those get in the way. And the fact that on my white GT, I do have a clearance valence right here. So it kind of works out to my advantage that uh, this is still 26 for the most part. But you know, hey, I'm not worried about it. Uh, it's, it's a street car and we don't race it that much anymore. And that's plenty of tire to go nines on. I've done it before, but that was a shit show as far as a control arm. That was an absolute shit show. Uh, could have got me hurt, could have got me in trouble i'm pretty confident with the car now i'm gonna go out there probably get a little bit better 60 foot have some have some more fun with it and the car will probably be straight i mean it always like the hula a little bit but um, better et yeah it'll have a little bit better et but you know again we're just testing the tkx we're not trying to burn the world with it with the time but i really like the fact that we went through a maintenance of that it's been a long time i'm gonna go over here and get my 28 put back on my white car and we're gonna go ahead out to the track to test the tkx for the second time so guys make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy our channel outside of that i appreciate the watch time if you're interested in the club membership that has some perks to it hit that join button below